my sister pulling in the driveway. I don't see her very often. There's my big sister, Gypsy Rowland. There she is. She's come to see me. Nice Jeep. Hi everybody, this is my sister Virtue from Gypsy Rowland. And this is my sister Melody. Sister Melody from And Living Free Forever. So we just wanted to talk about what it's like being sisters and 14 years apart. We actually did not grow up together in the same household because she went off to, where did you go? Well, I went off to school. I was the oldest of eight children. Our and I'm number seven. She's number seven, I'm number one. Our parents were from Spain, strict Catholic family. And so my mother had sent me to uh, an all girls boarding school uh, at the age of about 13. So right about when I turned 14, she got brought home. Why don't you tell them how, how you found me when you came home the first time you saw me? Yeah, I came home on the weekend and I threw my coat on my mother's bed and all of a sudden I heard something and I saw this baby and I was like, oh my God, we had another baby. It was sort of anticlimactic. But then my mother said, but it's a girl. And so. I remember thinking, well, now it's too late. You know, I'm like ready to leave. There was five boys between her and me. So everybody was happy it was a girl, but she said she was, she was a little sooner. And then we had another another boy. So there's a, we're from the family of, of eight. So we thought you'd like to know a little bit more about us because when there is that kind of a 14 year gap and especially when you're not living in the same household, um, I've met a lot of siblings that really basically don't know one another. So we'll interview each other and maybe you'll get to know us a little bit better. So what do you think the hardest thing was about being uh, 14 years younger than me? Being the only girl with a bunch of boys. <laughs> but I enjoyed it. I climbed trees and played football and I was a bit of a tomboy. Of course she got a little bit older and so when she was um, about one or two, I mean, you know, right off the bat, I was happy we had another baby, but as far as it was, it was a sister, I don't know that I related to her as a sister until she got a little bit older, but then there was this other brother right away, and um, so every weekend I would leave from Cleveland to Lorraine, which is about an hour drive. In Ohio. In Ohio. And, uh, yeah, and I'm, you know, and I even think about myself, because I was probably... 21. I was about 21 years old by that time I was done with college and to think that a sibling would drive an hour I mean literally almost every weekend to go see uh, not only my my sister my brother but even uh, the other little brothers were small I'd always bring candy and, and she had a really cool Volkswagen and my younger brother and I we would wait at the end of the block we'd run down wait for her because we just you know, we could hear that Volkswagen coming from a couple of miles away, and we were just so excited. So, you know, we'd see her coming down, and we'd run back home. And the same when she left, we would run after her as she left because, you know, it was a used Beetle with these headers on it. So definitely, it was very cool. Yeah, it was neat. So, um, being the youngest one at home, pretty much, and as I said, we had a very strict um, Spanish upbringing. What was the hardest thing about uh, growing in the household? Well, besides making sure we had good grades, uh, you, you know, we had to make sure we took care of the garden and cleaning, and then I had the uh, roller skating practices and violin lessons, homeschoolers, and, and we didn't homeschool for religious reasons or for that reason, but mainly for freedom to be with our kids and to do things that we wanted to do when we wanted to. When you're in school, sometimes you're kind of stuck to that schedule. I never liked schedules. And I think maybe because I was so busy as a kid, once I was 18 and I moved out, I didn't like schedules. I never did. And I always worked for myself. I worked with my sister for a little while, which was a great experience teaching me many things. So, And that brings us to children. Uh, Melody has two children. She has a son and uh, a daughter. How old are they? Uh, 13, going on 14, and 16. And I have nine children. No, I didn't make them all. Uh, people say, oh, you're so busy. Uh, I actually adopted six of them. Uh, a couple of them are from Romania, and then I was a foster parent. And uh, every child that came into the house, of course, I fell in love with. And um, so um, I came being the oldest of the eight kids. I was used to that sort of noise level. And a good caregiver. 
and those kids are awesome. I love them as my own children. So she yeah. did a great job. Yeah, they're all doing really well. So that's the children thing. Oh, uh, I would like to mention about this YouTube channel and her YouTube channel. She's the one who actually got me. I had this YouTube channel for a little while, but never really did much on it. Um, I was always way too shy to be on camera. And I didn't even want my picture, as you know. On. Right. As soon as she put a picture of me and the family photo online, I was like, you got to take it off. I don't want my face on there. She really was, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> she was asking me about YouTube, and I'm like, I can't put my face on there but I did and now I feel a little she easier. actually told me about YouTube because I had never even heard of it that's how like ridiculous I am and so she started explaining it to me well then once she started telling me about YouTube I'm like a super intense person like once I'm into something then I'm into it 110 percent so then suddenly I'm like driving the hour and a half up to her house you got to put me on YouTube because I'm gonna buy an RV and I'm gonna start my travels and then all yeah. of a sudden she got Back yeah, into I, it. I got motivated, and we really are doing it because we just want to share with others. Who it turns out that there's many people who think like us or who enjoy what we have to say, and we love hearing what you have to say. Well, so. one of the things I was telling her when I first started looking, it seemed like there were all these like younger people, especially with the RVs, you know, the younger guys. And of course, they just seem to know everything about the, the computers and the editing and, you know, just how they make them. And of course, they can take a van apart, put it back together. And I said, we need something that's more like us. <laughs> that maybe has, you probably saw my, my latest video, Frustrated and Sad, that I can't get on the road as soon as I want to get on. And oh, gypsyroland.com. You can take you directly to her YouTube channel. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But easy. that's, um, but you know, so that's how we, and then back to the fact that we didn't grow up together. There were years where we really didn't do a lot together. I mean, we always talked, we'd see on the holidays, but really in terms of growing up with like your sister, that's not what we had. And, but I think it just goes to show that if you really want a relationship with somebody, you know, sooner or later you find a way. And uh, even down here in Florida, we're still a year and a half or a, an hour and a half apart. And I work a lot, and she works a lot, so this is just sort of an excuse for us to get together. Yeah, we have a lot to talk about now. <laughs> it's all about YouTube now. <laughs> so anyway, I really want to thank you for um, sitting in with us and kind of getting to know the both of us. I'm sure you'll see us again. But um, And please forgive our editing skills. We're going to get better, and we're trying hard because we do enjoy making the videos, learning how to edit and the quality will improve, I promise. So if you like this, subscribe to Living Free Forever or gypsyroland.com and come and visit us again. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.